Chapter 1880 centers around the budding friendship between Sony, Serenity's nephew, and Titus, Jane's adopted son, while also touching on the family dynamics and dreams of Serenity and Zachary. Titus and Sony, both about the same age, form a special friendship. Titus expresses his desire to stay in the hospital to protect his younger sister, worrying that she might be stolen if he's not around. This simple yet profound sentiment underlines the strong bond of family and the sense of responsibility that these young children feel. They, in their innocence, are already embodying the values of their powerful families. As the two youngsters continue to play together, the chapter hints at the diplomatic relations being established between the next generation of the Johnson and York families. Tony's friendship with Titus solidifies these connections and sets the stage for future interactions and engagements, reflecting the complex web of relationships in this influential world. Serenity watches over the children with a doting smile, her eyes filled with tenderness. Her wistful thoughts turn to her own desire to have children. Despite the assurances from the trusted master that she and Zachary will have both sons and daughters, she remains concerned about the lack of progress. Sony's sudden exclamation of uncle disrupts her reverie. Zachary appears in the distance, bathed in the fiery use of the setting sun. Titus, the perceptive young friend, immediately recognizes Zachary and eagerly runs towards him. Sony, although initially a bit slower to react, soon follows suit, as he realizes that his uncle, whom he affectionately refers to as eldest young Master York, is present. The innocence of the children and their immediate connection with the adults in their lives highlights the family's importance in their world. The fearless and affectionate interaction of Titus with Zachary reveals the closeness he shares with the York family, despite Zachary's cold demeanor. He is at ease in Zachary's presence, hugging his leg and seeking to climb up. As Titus and Sony engage in friendly competition and playful banter, the chapter underscores the development of their friendship. The natural aptitude and early exposure to martial arts of Titus give him a slight edge, but the shared bond between the two children shines through.